I don't care you say I respect me. I respect me. My life is controlled from the spectrum. We want to engage ourselves and enter into the control room and edit our lives. Wow. If there is anything that you don't want in your life, I want to give you this opportunity to ascend in the realm of the spirit and start to edit those things right now. Yes. You can never edit your life. I've seen people going to the mirror to edit their faces so that they may attract marriage. Up to the day they have not yet been married. Wow. You edit your face in the realm of the spirit. That's why you find out that if you see people on the wedding day, the bride and those that are covered in the bride, when the bride is shown to the people, the bride is ugly, the bride is dark like me. And those that are covered in the bride, they are Mrs. Zimbabwe, they are Miss MSU, they are Miss Guerrero, but are failing to get married. Why? Because you are busy editing your life on a mirror. Church founders are not going to change the trajectory of your life. Yes. Wheels are not going to change the trajectories of life. Yes. Unless and until you know how to ascend in the realm of the spirit and edit your face there. Amen. Then God's going to give you ascendance. And do I have people here? Yes. Yes, Louis Vuitton's are not going to change your word structure. Oh, yes. Gucci's are not going to change your word structure. Uh -huh. What's going to change the correction of life is when you edit it in the realm of the spirit. Amen. Your height, your complexion, your stature, your word size is not going to change the, the trajectories that are in marriages, that are in relationships, unless until we ascend in the realm of the spirit and start to edit things that we don't want, you have got that power. Yes, sir. Then you will have those that, things that you don't want to see. Whatever is expressed in the physical realm is going to, to align to that which is the realm of the spirit. Amen. If you want to drive, if you want to own properties, edit that issue there. Don't go around to the deed office. The deed office is there. The Bible says that Psalms 24 verse 1, the earth is lost. The world and those that were in it, that he has concluded the matter. The owner, legal owner of the earth who gets the title of this is God. So if God owns the earth as the title of this owner, what is a piece of 400 square meters? What is 20 hectares? So go in the realm of the spirit and edge the things there. Am I talking somebody in this place? Yes. I said am I talking somebody in this place? Yes. Things are going to happen in life. If you know how to say them for the one I prophesy, you don't prophesy because of charisma. You don't prophesy because of, 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 of an invitation only. You don't prophesy because of your likes and dislikes. You prophesy because you know how to manipulate the realm of the spirit. The person that's going to win in your life, you versus demons, the one with ascended in the realm of the spirit is going to win. I've seen old, old Madogos in the rural areas living in a hut that is about to fall, controlling lives of people that are walking the streets of America, controlling lives of people that are walking the streets of Britain, controlling lives of the people walking the streets of Harare. Oh. Why? Because they've gained ascendance in the realm of the spirit. Oh. It's not what you believe, but it's what is there. There is empirical evidence that those that know how to manipulate the spirit is with power. Amen. And those that know how to take advantage of the spirit is with power. Yes, so the only ladder for you and me to ascend is prayer. Mm -hmm. So prayer is the ladder that gives you ascendance in the realm of the spirit. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I'm telling you somebody this place. Yes. Do not exasperate or do not be anxious over the things that you're going to eat. Because God is going to provide. Through prayer and thanksgiving, pray and make your petitions known. We know that scripture, eh? Okay. And it continues to say, and the God of all peace will give you understanding. That's what your answer is. Do not be anxious over the things that you're going to eat. 
but through prayer and thanksgiving, make a request known. And the God of all peace will give you all understanding. So which means, I want to give you this revelation and mystery. If you want what you want, to the extent that you become anxious and you exasperate, big it money to go to school, big it money to fly in and out of the country. The Bible is saying that through prayer and supplication, make a request known. So I come to the place of prayer and I make my petitions and my prayer to God. God does not give me the thing that I was anxious over. What God does is that he gives me peace that surpasses all understanding. So which means the peace that he gives me is the one or the connector that God uses to connect me to the miracle and the blessing that I'm supposed to get. What does the peace of God do? The peace of God creates an atmosphere that's conducive for a breakthrough. So when that peace of God creates an atmosphere that's conducive for a breakthrough, I'll then get understanding on how to deal with that thing that is making me anxious. So when I get understanding through peace, I then go back to that thing that is making me anxious and I deal with it, then I get results. That's how God operates. I am anxious. When am I going to get married? God does not give you a husband. He gives you peace. Why peace? Peace is going to create an atmosphere that's conducive for my understanding on the principles and protocols of relationships and marriage, then I'll get in the place of marriage. So it's a, a, a round robin. Where I'm anxious, God places me to a place of understanding. When I understand, I go back to a place of anxiousness, then I get my result. Wow. So when I pray, there are two dimensions of God that I need. I need the God of peace and the peace of God. Because the peace of God and the God of peace are two different things. The peace of God is the atmosphere that gives understanding. But the God of peace is a place where you actualize your potentials. Ah. Oh. I don't know if I'm telling you something in this place. Yes. The peace of God, right now we are going to pray over your situations. What you are going to feel is the peace of God. And that peace of God is going to give you intelligence on how to come out of that situation on how to make deals, on how to arise to ascend that the peace of God, it gives understanding. When you move from the dimension of the peace of God, when you understand how God operates, you then meet the God of peace. When you meet the God of peace, you is a dimension that you control now because of the God of peace. So when Moses met with God, and God spoke to Moses, he was given peace that I'm going to take your family out of Egypt. And when he went out, he's moving with understanding through the peace of God. The day he came out from Egypt, walking, the Bible says, you walked on my palm and you didn't know it. Walking to the place of prophecy, he then encountered the God of peace. And he said at once, whoever is going to stand before you, I'm going to deal with him. Starting with the Amalekites at Raphadim, the Bible says they were attacked and ambushed by the Amalekites. God destroyed the Amalekites because you are now commanding a dimension of certain possibilities. Say, so I declare, I declare. I declare. Is that right? 